Hello and good morning. For this installation, we'll start off uh, neutralizing the installation. So I'm going to hold down the Windows button and press R and bring up the run window. And after typing percent app data percent, we'll click OK. And this will take us to the app data location of our computer. I am locating the Blender Foundation folder. And from here, I'm just going to click Blender once and then click it twice to rename it. And we're just going to put an A at the end. This will preserve my original installation, so that way I can demonstrate installation without messing up my original configuration. And so now when we open up Blender, it opens up as if it's never seen us before. So let us rescale the window to fit the appropriate area. And then we can get to work. So just scaling it to fit. Usually I have a little program that makes this work out for me, but it appears to be on the fritz right now. Just going to show how useful uh, Power Utilities is. So now that we have Blender up, I'm just going to click on left, click on search, and then we'll click on continue. So now we're in Blender 4.3.2. I'm going to select the light and the camera, just delete it. It's not needed. And now we have our files. So first thing I'll install is hard ops and we'll just install hard ops 00988 underscore seven. And after its installation, we'll see its icon appear over here on the side. Then we'll install boss cutter 720 underscore seven. And after its installation, its icon will appear. Next, we'll go to install and we'll click on OK. And after install installs, its icon will also appear. So now that we have things installed, I'm just going to just do a few basic things. So let's uh, Alt W jump into Box Cutter. Actually, before we start with Box Cutter, let's save our configuration. So now that I'm in Box Cutter, if I save my startup file, this will basically be how Blender will be anytime I open it. So it will start up with me already in Box Cutter as my default scene. In fact, let me save it with dots enabled. So that way, when I hold Control, I have dots. So now I can get in, begin cutting, and then from here, do what it is that I need to do. So now that we have this, I'm just going to alt click dice in order to press T and exit to twist, and then we'll roll the wheel down till it's something minimal. Let's tap into edit mode and just grab these faces. And we're just unmarking those and removing them. And from here, if we take a look at our modifiers, we have a displace, an array, a displace, or a uh, displace, array, a deform, a displace, and then a weld. So now everything is manifold. So what I want to do is put an underscore here, and this will allow me to go back in with box cutter and continue cutting on this as if it's an entirely uh, applied object. So normally the modifiers will get moved around, but basically adding the underscore lock those into place so that we can continue adding new modifiers on top to keep everything alive. So now let us um, take this and we'll shift click smart apply to duplicate it. And I'm just going to bring it over uh, on the X. So G X. And now let's go in edit mode and I'm going to alt one startup and solve. And we see that if we have dissolve set to alt, Whenever I click and drag across a line, we are basically performing the dissolve operation on that particular line. So just like that, we are able to get in and perform dissolve. And we could even take this opportunity to perform join and make some new connections if we need to, depending on how we're trying to manage this mesh. But just like that, we were able to get in and get started with insolve and also um, perform a few basic operations. So just like that, if we don't like this, I'm just holding alt and just dragging across the edge in order to select it and highlight it for removal. So dissolve is one of those things that you, you drag across the edge that you're getting rid of. Um, it's not one of those things where you select the edge. So behaviorally, it's uh, something that um, might require that, that brief uh, amount of explanation there, but Basically, once you map a function to one of your modifier keys, it becomes the function that's activated once you click and drag with that modifier key held. So I'm clicking and holding with left mouse, and that's activating join. And then if I hold alt and I click and drag, I'm activating dissolve. So we could also change it here by clicking on this icon. I could change this over to be dissolve. And now left mouse behavior is dissolve.
Uh, one of the things that's important is if you drag the mouse off of the viewport, um, that can cause an error since the reading that it gets back is something non-mesh, in fact, possibly non-blender. And that's something that, you know, we struggle with because, you know, certain users are able to drag their cursors outside of the bounds of the window. So that's something to keep in mind if you are a pen user. But I want to just show a little bit of just basic use of install box cutter hard ops, just in terms of how I use things. So with that, this installation is complete. I can actually go ahead and close this window and to just show how things are installed now, if I were to click on 432, next time it loads up, it will load up exactly where I placed it. And that's basically it for the installation. Like we installed everything and now all we have to do is just await Blender's load. And when Blender loads up, we are right here, ready to work without delay. So just like that, we have now installed, configured, and used box cutter and hard ops. So let's just press T, we'll flip that over, roll it in. I always like my uh, spins to have a low count. However, big counts are also supported, but with that installation is complete. I thank everyone for watching.